Ugh. Well, well, well. Look who it is. It's you. Watching me. Driving. And uh, you better get used to you watching me driving. Now you may be asking, Dave, why do I have to suffer through you sitting in a car talking to me all the time? And it's all because one, Nick Esposito, my uh, collaborative partner, head writer, and perpetual fucking problem child, decided to go right over this business boy's head and sign a new deal with Makes and Drinks It. So now we have our own reality show that is honestly not long enough to encapsulate all of the content we're going to shoot. So they're making us do offshoots of the reality show, and this is mine. If that doesn't sound interesting to you, well then fuck you. But if that does sound okay with you, follow me and I'll give you a little bit of insight on Hollywood. Now what you probably don't know because you're not a big time up and coming Hollywood executive producer like I am is that when you are a big time up and coming executive producer in Hollywood, you spend most of your time in the car. Why? Because you're making deals all over town. And in a town like Los Angeles that was built by fucking retards, the only way to get around said town is in a car. So this is my car. Now it may not look like much, but that's because all of the money that I could have used to get a nicer car instead goes directly to our awesome content, which you all are going to see and love and enjoy. So I mean, why the fuck would you ever care about my car? All right, so I'm Dave Feynman, business boy extraordinaire, except I am more than a business boy now. I am a business man. Now, nobody's calling me a businessman yet, but that is what I am. Business boy is my official title. It is a good title. It served me well, but I feel like people don't really take me seriously with the word boy in my title. So I'm doubling down and I'm gonna be the best fucking businessman this world has ever seen. Because when you're the biggest fucking businessman this world has ever seen, your asshole partners can't go behind your back and sign shit fucking deals that now mandate you have to film yourself all the fucking time. I'm sorry, I get really worked up over this. We would be lost without Nick. We really would be. It's just a damn fucking shame that he doesn't know his goddamn place. <sighs> damn shame. But hey, at least, I was about to say at least there's Jake, but fuck me. I mean, come on. <laughs> fuck this bullshit.